They're looking to do that right now. And again, it's Vicente with the sniper. Does he get the pick on the underpass? Unfortunately for him, it looks it. like no one from FaZe are even going to go. I mean, that's that's a big reason why I said if you're going to pull it out, you kind of need to hit that round one because you, you scare them away from it. They're, they're not going to just send somebody out there. It'll Ooh. be a different timing to it. But the gunfights are going to be mid-map. They're going to be mid-map quickly. It's Aqua and Felony finding a couple. Looney still there. It's a Tatcher rotating behind. He knows Looney is still here. Oh, God, was that, did he need to reload? Or was I that like a panic so. reload? I think that was a panic reload. Messes up there. Looney has been spotted by Enable. One versus one. The trade right here for Rise Nation. Enable snaps right on over. LG nearly throw away a round because they have nobody watching that. A silver lining for Millennium, though, chances. Look what Moose has in that bottom right of your screen. That camo payload ability. They've got, for me, there's a must-win defense right now for Millennium. And then you use the camo on offense to bring this back within one round. Nolson has sniffed out something cooking over by B, and it looks like Millennium's going to try and respond to it differently than they did last time. Again, uh, the previous round when they were on defense, they met all the gunfights head on, and Luminosity came out. Oh. Now they're trying to get creative, and Moose is in a great spot with the camo. Gets the information, not able to clean up the second kill, though. It's going to be a 2v2. Petey and Nolson going against Saints and Slack. Players over by Crate. Nolson working together, but he doesn't even check the wall run. Slack's able to pick up one, and now Petey's got to get out of dodge. Luminosity, well, for a moment, we're going to be hunting him down, but uh, He's going to be able to escape with his life, but a tough situation ahead. Thing two, Millennium used camo in this round, and it's for nothing to this point. Petey by himself, he's the hero Millennium needs right now. Can he clutch this one up? Both players sticking together, as you said, what LG wanted to work on. They're at the crates. Petey gets spotted, snaps right on the slack, and gets away with his life. He catches a Petey! What a play! He might not even be able to get there in time with the, yeah. with the Trinity Rockets coming in, but all right, here we go. Round seven is up. They're going to send two players on defense, be a bit more aggressive. They've been having a one-man stand for a lot of these rounds. Camo is available for Moose. They're inching their way forward. How do they opt to attack this? You use Camo, you got to get something good for it. Here comes more streaks, or maybe it's just a ping from Moose here. See if he actually drops them down. It looks, looks like it's just going to be a ping for now. So. Brings the score streak up just to get vision on where the players of United are. Gonna put it away. Well, they knew two were on the flank and two were hitting from the front. Ah, oh, that's just an awkward situation for RQB. Oh, Moose uses his camo here, oh. and everyone ends up dropping. Can they clutch this? He's behind a few players. One gets away. It's now Moose by himself to clutch. Oh, He's no. tagged, trying to get away with his life. He's retreated for now. They're hunting him down. He re-challenges. Oh, my God, Moose! 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 Didn't miss one bullet there with the ERAD on board with Splice once again. The bomb carriers surging up the gut this time around. Going to cut their way into the showers as usual, it seems. And they're looking for an opening challenge. J-Cap spotted in the window. Grenade goes out. Jerk looking to challenge down low, but J-Cap will punish. So first blood goes in favor of Envy. Bomb's going to rotate over to A. And here it goes. Envy will be charging up the gut. And Splice going to find themselves in another 2v4. They're getting the bomb down, but this is a tough situation. These kills are going to even things up, but it's all zero. One on two. J-Cap and John left alive. J-Cap's gone. Camo's used one on one, and it's a huge clutch coming in from zero. He gets the kill, drops it to a 2v2. As he gets that kill, Clayster dies to gotcha, make it gotcha, to gotcha, then a gotcha. 1v2. So now we have Camo ready for Rise Nation, and, and you have to give the payload advantage over to Rise now in this scenario. You've got Clayster bringing out the sniper too, so they're trying to remain versatile when it comes down to what they use to get these opening picks. The Scarab getting so much information for Looney, as Rise Nation should be able to freely take this B-bomb. Yep, that's exactly what they were doing, just scouting with that. At the same time, you're playing slow. Maybe you catch like an over-aggressive Zuma if he plays uh, rounds he is known to do. But at least if you're clay there, you do find a kill with the pistol. So it doesn't bite you that you have a sniper on this aggressive play. Now it's 3v3, post-plant for Rise Nation. It's going to be phase. Zuma didn't right. see him! Uh. Zuma didn't see him! There you go. Does get the kill. I heard Clayster through my headset yelling, yelling, to your right, to your right, to your right, calling it out for him. That wasn't one of those ones where you saw like a glimmer of a player. Like I think it's the reticle was on his back. This is such a smart play. This is such a smart play. He cleans up one, challenges the bomb, has the camo now ready. Aqua with an MVP-like play. Does it get spotted to 1v3? Aqua oh, potentially saves the game there for Rise Nation. And just a few short weeks. Fnatic trying to win this game five to set themselves in a nice position I, for day three. I love this call yet again. So many teams go over to stack the A site. Here comes a Fnatic push. They take this entire side of the map. 
from FaZe Clan. Now FaZe Clan forced to react. And maybe not the best position to have an NV4 if you're Tommy. <laughs> nope. If someone comes soaring out of barn, this, oh, this is a little bit better. Uh, just in case, you know, you have Zuma or one of, the, one of the K-Bar players come flying out at him. But he's holding him back for now. He has FTL, maybe some fancy footwork in his future. Wuskin doing a good job staying alive for now. Unfortunately, not able to bait anyone his way. Didn't notice one at the bottom left. He's got two to his right as well. Wuskin doing such a good job. Wuskin keeps rolling. And during that time, he feeds kills to his teammate. But it's attached versus Tommy. Another 1v1. Tommy spotted in the back and attack feeds him. Give Petey a chance with that E Rad. Yeah, it's right now. With the theme for this week, at least, in this first time on throwback. SD is not playing for mid control. Like here, look, Millennium, look how passive they are. And instead, playing for a retake. Meanwhile, I feel like the first two weeks, it was all about playing for middle map control and not giving up a quick plant on this map. Either way, it will be Vortex again dancing around. He's already used one FTL jump this game, trying to work towards a second. Hockey getting a little bit close to his payload as well. About three quarters of the way there, five and two. Dave yet to pick up one in this search and destroy. See if he can get on the board, get rid of that donut. Vortex still, same sort of strategy we saw in this previous round, but looks like on the top side of your minimap, number four and one. Might be trying to make a play over towards that other side, B, which we don't see too often. Look at how awkward this is. Vortex does get first blood, and because of that, it's time to plant this objective. Epsilon will have the 4v3, but Nolson there to actually even things back up. The great strategy Ooh. for Alpa. Ooh. Guess strategy doesn't matter when Moose absolutely destroys Dave, still doesn't pick up a kill. Donut for him. Josh now stuck in the one versus three. He picks up two and gets away. He has a really good shot at clutching this. And now he'll spot Moose as well. Josh has all the info we can need. Challenges one versus three. I think they were ready to hit it. It just sort of, Fnatic kind of ran out of it. And if we can go on board with Tommy right now, he's three and oh. Getting very close to the Scarab. It'll be Scraps getting first blood. Fnatic with the man advantage. How, this is a huge round for FaZe. I mean, they need to take this round. You see Attach trying to gain some vision. Does not spot the player on the bottom. Now he saw one, so he knows there's one at back bus, but there's uh, basically always a player at back bus. But Zuma gonna strike first for FaZe Clan. He's got a couple of kills. Attach trying to peek. He's basically playing a little bait here, trying to get the timing in for Zuma. The call is to push forward. You see one soaring into window. They have a 3v2 fight. Now, you highlighted Tommy at the beginning of the game. He's the number two on your minimap. He's doing a long flank around the back here, and he's got this secured. So he's got set up at Lime. He's got kind of control of Grandma's there, looking over the back side of Barn. That means that the A site is complete, sorry, the B site's completely open. Now they're going to look to get the bomb down. And as soon as his teammates see action over by Barn, he's going to be able to pick up one kill, and he grabs one now. And now you just see the minimap. The players on face don't know which way to shift their focus. Where they shift it over towards the bomb or towards the backside where Tommy is. Attach gets one. 1v3 situation for Attach. Picks up another. Attach, a chance to do it. He already had the 1v4. He's got to work the defuse. And who else is it but the 4 and oh, Tommy. They meet inside a board and Attach again with the clutch. Moose with one of his own. It's about to be a camo fest in round 11. Which player makes the bigger impact? That's what it's all going to come down to, TP. Invisible battles are always fun. Oh, yeah. Oops, oh, here it starts. It early. I like the play. Use it first. Get some sort of advantage with it. Drops down on the bomb site. Oh, the team kill comes in. One versus three. What? On the situation. Oh, my God. Double a kill team with kill the and then double I, kill for shit. I don't know what's going on. Slack versus Nolson. Slack versus Nolson. After all of that, it was a 1v4, a team kill, a two-piece grenade. And Slack has seen where he is. Is this about to be the greatest collapse in around 11 from what I've seen? He's on the right side of the bomb, though. Slack will be able to react right away. FTL jump doesn't even need to use it! What a throw away by Millennium! Awkward scenario they were in. So now the camo right there not only wins that round for Rise, they've now got full streaks from Looney to use. If FaZe win this game, my mind would be blown. Yeah, camo, so, so vital. Pat's still trying to earn it. <laughs> okay, I'll give you that he one. He didn't hear me. <laughs> All right, well. Hey, I think he just got you permanently muted. Probably, probably. 5-4 advantage. Four rise. Look at how scared FaZe are. They haven't been yeah. able to play at this bomb because they're worried the second they move towards a site, a ping comes in. A and look, they're spotting with the Scarab. That's it. They spot with the Scarab. They go for the plant. Here comes the Trinity. Do they even focus on killing the plants or they don't get there in time? So Enable's able to plant this bomb. Rise to have to push up this map. Yes, they have the first kill, 
But because that bomb is planted, yeah. FaZe absolutely have a chance of winning this round. If that goes off a half second earlier, they, they stop the plant. This is a much different round. Oh my God. Now they've got to make plays. It's going to be timing for Zuma. Can he get in behind a couple? The first two is right. He should be able to sneak in behind. He sees basically the whole team. He's cut down. It's now an attach. 20 seconds left. He's going to have to make a play around the bomb. He has Centurion, which isn't going to come into play here. He's found two. Two more to go with. Check it. I believe Looney's on it. He checks it. He gets it. Oh, oh my God. He, it. he does it. And he swallows. Oh my God. What was the reaction? Oh my there? God. Attach. He with the one versus four.